Oh my god, you wouldn't be prepared to sacrifice the traditional offerings, but you're happy to sacrifice those birds, aren't you? If you care more about that than you care about those innocent beings, there's no hope for the world. So I was sent this article here by a friend of mine and I thought it was interesting because I really wanted to respond to it, react to it and get your opinion on this because I know there's a lot of vegans who follow this channel, there's a few people who aren't vegan who follow this channel and I thought we could create some discussion in the comments section but this is from The Mirror and it says, I won't cook my guests a non-vegan Christmas dinner, I'd rather they not come. Sounds like a militant vegan right here. With November officially upon us, Christmas is now right around the corner and many families are beginning to organize who will be hosting the annual, annual get together this year. But one mum has said that while she's keen on doing the hosting duties, she knows some of her family will be unimpressed because she's a vegan. The woman insisted she doesn't want to cave and allow the meat eaters to bring their own cuts to chomp on because she could not stomach sitting next to people who are scoffing down animals. Very interesting. This person, is a vegan, like I'm a vegan. So this is some very biased reporting you're gonna be hearing from me right now. Why would they want the body of an animal that more often than not, like the vast majority, are factory farmed in appalling conditions. So this animal endured the most horrific suffering and cruelty. Then they were executed. And if this is in the UK, it's by gas chamber. If they're a turkey, why would they want that? corpse of that suffering on their Christmas dinner table. And Christmas is supposed to be about the time of giving and happiness and sharing and family and all these things. And there'd be this poor innocent bird who'd went through hell in order to bring these people pleasure on this vegan's table. So I empathize with her, but what do you think down below? Get the discussion going. So the vegan wrote in a post on Mumsnet. What's Mumsnet? Is that some internet for mums. I'm thinking of hosting Christmas this year. We're a completely vegan family and have been for a number of years. I'm an amazing cook so I'm planning a nut roast with all the usual Christmas dinner trimmings and Christmas pudding. Sounds delightful. Can I come over for Christmas dinner? You've got my email. I'll see you there. The thing is I feel the lack of meat might ruffle a few feathers. Excuse the pun. Yeah well you're excused. Some members of the family are staunch meat eaters who think we're going to die from malnutrition and make their views known at every opportunity. That's hilarious. And if you're a vegan watching this, you know that like whenever you mention you're vegan, people go, oh my God, like where do you get your protein from, your nutrients? Are you, are you gonna die soon? Or like, there's no protein in plants, is there? Oh my God. Um, the mum explained she previously invited her family to dinner and said many of them weren't happy with her menu choice. So she's now torn on whether to extend an invitation to them all. She added, we invited them to dinner a few years ago and they were put out that they couldn't bring their own meat. You know, like if it was my house, just letting you know, if it was my house, you ain't bringing no dead, poor, suffered animal bodies into my house or putting it on my table. Um, and if you are like a friend or family, you would understand that that would make me feel incredibly upset. You know, a lot of vegans are actually activists as well. So they're trying to prevent this horrible suffering from happening. And to bring that, like, that body part into someone's house. I think it was so disrespectful. Like it's so disrespectful that like, you can't have one day without eating body parts. You eat body parts every day of the year. But this one, one day, you go into your vegan family's house and you still want to bring that suffered dead bird in to their house. Oh. She said, but I just could not stomach sitting there eating with other people while they're eating dead animals. They might as well be eating a dead dog. It repulses me that much. I find me absolutely disgusting. My husband is the same. Of course, you're talking to me, the vegan animal rights activist here. I agree with them. Like, there's no morally significant difference between a dog and a pig and a turkey. Like, once you connect with these cows and pigs and turkeys, once you see them chopped up on the on the table, you got to understand, for a vegan, that is like, it's like a bit of a horror story. It's like, oh my God, like, like anyone remember Tinsel from last year? Imagine seeing Tinsel get their head cut off and uh, served on a table like how horrible like so people who commented were in favor of inviting the family members but staying firm with the decision to not serve meat one person said invite them explain the ground rules and don't be offended if they decline a second person posted definitely invite them but don't offer meat i'm a meat eater but would be delighted to eat a lovingly made vegan meal and wouldn't dream of commenting see just a polite respectful person like you know what i mean a lot of people say like vegans are rude or vegans are rude vegans are rude but a lot of meat eaters are are rude to vegans like just unnecessarily cruel to them you know they know they don't, that vegans don't like animal abuse and animal cruelty and it's it's horrible suffering and if you'd witness what the animals go through you'd understand why vegans are vegan but fair enough let's just say it's not fair enough actually it's an incredibly egregious injustice that you don't want to be vegan but i'm just saying like let's just say you don't want to go vegan the least you could do is at least you know respect your vegan friends 
show them a bit of respect. Like if they don't want dead corpses in their house, then just have the have a vegan meal. They're good. It's vegan meals are good. Try the vegan food. I mean, what's what is this like? You're like a small child. You don't want to eat your vegetables. You don't want to eat a nut roast with gravy and like a you know vegan turkey uh, roll. They're amazing. You can get tofurkey. There's so many amazing vegan foods. Like roast potatoes are vegan for God's sakes. You know, anyways. Another added, if I were eating with vegetarians or vegans, I'd not expect them to serve meat and I'd be excited to, to try whatever they offered me. See, just cool. You're a, look, whoever commented this, give me an email, I'm coming around, I'm gonna cook you vegan dinner for a week straight, send me an email. However, others explained Christmas isn't the best time to serve vegan food to meat eaters as many will be looking forward to turkey. Well, the turkeys aren't looking forward to turkey. Uh, most turkeys are factory farmed in the UK and they live in appalling, disgusting hellhole conditions and they're all gas chambered to death. And turkeys are incredibly intelligent animals. They're beautiful, beautiful little sentient birds. It's like the height of selfishness and injustice, you know, just to expect that bird be murdered on your behalf because you're looking forward to eating their body. Bare minimum, don't bring it into your vegan family member's house. But ideally, you shouldn't be eating them at all. These are incredible birds and you can get the same taste of turkey. Like I've been vegan now eight years, eight years since World Vegan Day. And you get the same taste, texture that you're used to on Christmas day. Like I have Christmas dinner every year and it's usually something like a vegan uh, roast with potatoes and, and uh, vegetables and gravy or something like this and like an amazing vegan Christmas pudding or, you know, I don't get drunk anymore, but a lot of alcohol was vegan too. Like just going the out Barnabal, like, oh, I'm gonna do a Christmas special this year and it's coming and we're gonna show you all the amazing vegan foods that you can have at Christmas time. Someone wrote, if you invited me, I wouldn't come. There are many times when I'm happy to eat vegan food, Christmas isn't one of them. Well, so on Christmas, you wanna be especially cruel to the animals on Christmas, eh? You, on Christmas, you know, the day of celebrating, you know, family and giving gifts and the birth of Jesus Christ or whatever, whatever Christmas represents, I don't even know. It's just a, a, tra a tradition everyone practices and doesn't really question. But Christmas isn't one of those days you want to be kind and compassionate to the animals, eh? It's just Christmas, definitely 100 million percent on that day. I want as many animals to be tortured and sacrificed for me as possible so I can have as much pleasure from their demise and their misery as I possibly can because it's Christmas and that's my gift to the world is to cause as much egregious animal suffering and cruelty and death as I possibly can and stuff their corpses down my throat and I better stop because I could just keep going. If on Christmas you don't want to eat vegan food then you better not be eating any potatoes bruh, you better not be eating any of those peas, you better not be having any of those cherries, <laughs> you better make sure that nothing you eat on Christmas is vegan bro, but I'm sure you do eat vegan foods on Christmas don't you? You eat potatoes. You know, knowing meat eaters, even the potatoes are cooked in goose fat, the fat of murdered geese. This person here is just like one of the most selfish people on earth that, you know, just doesn't want to not harm the animals on Christmas, which should be a day where people do extend compassion to animals. And another agreed, adding, I'm a meat eater and while I would totally respect your beliefs and would in no way expect to be served meat in your house, I'm afraid I would decline to eat my main meal and just visit after dinner. You would decline to eat your main meal? You would decline the vegan food? What's the matter with you, mate? What's the matter? I bet you were that little kid who's like, Man, I don't want to eat my broccoli. It's nothing personal. I wouldn't mind for another meal, but I love Christmas dinner and I, would be, and I wouldn't be prepared to sacrifice the traditional offerings. Oh my God, you wouldn't be prepared to sacrifice the traditional offerings, but you're happy to sacrifice those birds, aren't you? You're happy to sacrifice those animals. And I've been in these farms, many of these farms now, and I'm telling you right now, these are the most horrible, feces ridden, filthy, grotty, disgusting, filthy prisons that you've ever seen. And if you'd like to live for, I'd give you one week in there and you'd be, you'd come out crying desperately with PTSD. It's that horrible. Okay. They're living on, on top of their own feces. They're murmuring, desperately suffering. It's a horrible, factory farms are all horrible hell holes, disgusting places. And if you want to go to those happy animals, like, you know, oh, there's these happy animals that, are, are, you know, take me to the farm. I don't know where these places are, but most animals are factory farmed in the UK and the US and Australia everywhere. But even those places, those animals go to a slaughterhouse, a slaughterhouse. So you don't want to sacrifice your tradition of sacrificing innocent beings but you're happy to support slaughterhouses on Christmas. Do you think there are slaughterhouses in heaven? It's a Christian religious tradition. Do you think there are slaughterhouses murdering billions of innocent beings in heaven? Torturing them in factory farms? Destroying God's earth? Everyone knows about sustainability now and a vegan diet reducing the earth's farmland by 75% and you know global warming and the incredibly stupid use of our resources feeding them all to animals and then 
butchering them. If you believe in Christmas and you believe in this Christian cr tradition, destroying God's earth, if you care more about that than you care about those innocent beings, there's no hope for the world. There is no hope for us to care about each other. If you care more about having your meat on your plate at Christmas, then you care about all of these other topics like animal suffering, animal rights, horrible environmental destruction, but you want your turkey on Christmas. Okay, should we respond to some comments? Okay, might as well. Kathleen says she's entitled to serve only vegan. They're entitled to stay home. I'd be staying home. Any other time I would eat vegan, but not for Christmas, I would come to visit after dinner. Kathleen, another selfish meat eater who only cares about her selfish taste buds and not of the lives of the innocent animals. Missy Jane says that's down to her, but I hope she doesn't expect people to cook her a special vegan meal when she visits them as it works both ways. Well, Missy Jane, she already said she doesn't want to sit down with the bodies of animals on her table, so she wouldn't come over anyway if you cooked her a vegan meal. If you had corpses on the table, she wouldn't come over. Like, you're another, you know, selfish individual who only cares about their taste buds and doesn't care about the suffering and rights of animals. Couldn't they make the compromise that someone cooks and brings a turkey with them instead? No one should make people People eat foods that they don't want to eat. Oh my god, Kimberly, like, wow, do you care about justice now? It sounds like you're a freedom fighter. No one should make people eat foods they don't want to eat. You know, no one should make an animal go through that type of hell so you can eat their body. Like, don't you think of that, Kimberly? Like, you're more offended that someone won't let them uh, eat meat inside of their house because they care about animal rights. You're more offended by that than you are by the horrible mass murder of innocent beings so you can eat a piece of their body at Christmas time. And there should be options, especially at Christmas. In my household, there have been four years, both me and vegan alternative and people have been able to come along if they wanted. You're just the, the queen of justice, aren't you? But even though you eat the corpses of these dead animals. Lynn Ross says, I would eat before I went and not worry about what she was serving, just be with the family. Well, okay. Lynn, no worries, like, can't control Lynn over here, he's gonna eat before he comes, but he's still gonna go over there and be like, and not completely refuse going to see their family. So he'd make sure he got a bit of animal abuse in before he went to the vegan's house. Her house, her rules, it's simple. It's easy to go and be happy and uh, with what you're given, or don't go, it really isn't a hard choice. I'm not a vegan, but I understand and respect their decisions, and I certainly respect their choice in their house. Oh, well, it's starting off good here, respect their choice in their house. Okay, she's into respecting choices, Charlotte. Maybe she respects the choices of the animals and thinks, oh, well, they, do they choose to die? I don't think they'd choose to die. Maybe they'd choose to live. So so I'm, I'm liking this so far. Let's continue. However, I don't like hearing however, if I was cooking a Christmas dinner and had a vegan coming, I would make sure they were catered for and I'm happy to, but then it would be my house and my rules and I'm happy to accommodate. Okay, well, it sounds pretty nice, Charlotte. Um, but if you care about um, respecting choices, Charlotte, maybe you should just respect the animal's lives. You know what I mean? You say... Well, don't go, it isn't, isn't really a hard choice, you know, but you know how easy it is to make the decision to be vegan and to respect the choices of animals? They don't choose to be in a slaughterhouse. I think she's totally right to not serve something she doesn't agree with to her guests, and also I think non-vegans should be sure to have some vegan options if they invite a vegan. Uh, look, I'm liking all these people, you know, being accommodating to vegans. I think that's really nice of them, but I think they should be nice to the animals and stop paying for them to be gas chambered and murdered. But, you know, what, what do I know? I'm just... Just, just, just thinking out loud. Ah, <laughs> here we go. Dirk Dago. Gonna screen cap that one because we're gonna put it in the video right now. To be honest, I don't think they want to go to your house for Christmas for a vegan meal. They don't force meat on you and you shouldn't force vegetables on them. My advice is to stay clear of this vegan Christmas. <laughs> oh, Dirk Dago, mate. You're just the most hilarious... Who's Dirk Dago? Let me just have a little close up here. Well, I can't see. He's got silly teddy bears. Must be a little troll account, but um, you know, like don't for they don't force meat on you, and you shouldn't force vegetables on them. Well, you know what, mate? You shouldn't force animals to suffer in horrible hellhole factory farms, and then force them to die in a blood-filled, fear-filled, disgusting death factory slaughterhouse, so you can eat their body parts. I think if you want to, if you care about forcing, then maybe you should care about what your lifestyle is forcing on innocent beings. What do you guys think down below? Let's get into the discussion. I personally, you're not bringing any murdered animals into my house. I'm not sitting at the table with you while you're eating murdered animals. It's just a principle of mine. If you want to hang out with me, we're going to eat vegan. If I was an anti-child abuse activist, I wouldn't want some horrible child abuse paraphernalia on the table when I go to your house. But I understand this is legal abuse of animals. This child abuse is illegal. This is legal abuse of animals, Joey, you know? It's traditional, we've been doing it for thousands of years. I've heard it all. At a principle, I wouldn't have that stuff on the table at my home. Christmas is coming up and a lot of vegans are gonna be have to have to go through this exact same problem. So let's start a discussion down there in the comments section. Do you think it's unreasonable for this vegan not to allow animal products in her house? I definitely wouldn't. I'm on her side. What about the meat eaters down there? Do you think it's unreasonable of the vegan not to 
want these body parts in her house on Christmas? Do you think meat eaters should stop being sooky la la, sour sobs, and just eat some vegan food and they might even really like it? You know, what is this attachment you can't let go of just one day? Leave your comments down below and I'll see you all in the next video. Here's to a vegan Christmas coming very soon to a YouTube channel near you, my YouTube channel. Peace.